portions of the rule are being brought to you by Quigley Motor Company. Now, go where no van has gone before. Conquest. Sense on a stick. Muddy. Serious gear for serious hunters. Mat tracks. Worldwide track technology. Dead end decoys. It's the end of the road for Tom. Nikon. Next generation now. Aluminous products. Manufacturers of aluminum off road products. SKB. Providing the best transport cases in the world. Rage slip cam broadheads. Put them down. Glendale pre rut. Seven times more core shooting service. Block black. It's one tough target. Welcome back to the show. We have cameramen in the field over 100 days a year, and sometimes things don't always go as planned. Between having to deal with the extra body in the tree stand or in a ground blind, trying to be quiet, it's not easy. Let's take a look at this particular hunt right before the money shot. Have a look. All buck hunters have been there. Late season, it's cold, weather is unpredictable, and the key is to hunt the fields and historical buck sign. Well, you can see that this buck rub has been hit more than one year. This is a previous year right here, and this is a current year, so there's a buck that's been around here a few years that's been hitting the same tree. And there's buck rubs like that all through this area. It's one thing I love about hunting Iowa is that you get these nice mature bucks. Phil is hunting close to a rub line near a woodlot overlooking this soybean field. This is a perfect spot for a late season muzzle loader hunt. Well folks, it's day four of our hunt. Yesterday the weather reports called out heavy rains, high winds, winds of up to 40 miles an hour. So we didn't want to be shooting video and hunting in that kind of condition at a tree stand, so we went out and bought a ground blind. We set this ground blind up back about 100 yards off the edge of the field from where we were hunting yesterday. And we've been seeing it. Yesterday we saw tons of bucks coming through here, deer. It was just a natural escape room. So we're, we're propped up on this little mound to set back against a, another field on the other side, and these deer are running back and forth all through here. So we're gonna sit it out here this morning with hopes of uh, getting a good shot at a nice buck. Everything's gone great up to this point. Yep, time for things to go wrong. My cameraman can't seem to get this buck on film, but he's big enough and I have to take him. We're gonna show you this buck in just a minute. We gave this buck about an hour and a half because we seen it run and it was over 70 yards where it ran, so we weren't really too sure of the shot. Um, but we're on track at it now, it's starting to snow, and uh, we're on some pretty good blood, some good blood right here. And based on his blood, I don't think this deer is much further. Oh yeah, definitely a nice mature whitetail buck. Great, awesome. What do we got here? Oh, beauty. Nice heavy rack. Nice big bases on them. 13 points. Just a nice chocolate cap on them here, too. 
Well, let me tell you folks, we hunted hard all week and we knew today was gonna be a bad day weather-wise, so we went out yesterday and bought a ground blind and set a ground blind up about 120 yards further into the woods and where we were hunting actually yesterday. Um, we knew that this spot was gonna be good. We've been seeing good bucks here all week. We saw probably already today, uh, I'm gonna guess, five or six bucks before this one shows up. He was with a pretty big eight pointer, uh, but I've shot enough eight pointers that I wanted something a little different, so we decided to take this. And again, he's got some pretty good heavy bases on him, and uh, definitely a very good mature whitetail. Again, another phenomenal hunt here in Iowa. Uh, I want to say special thanks to Todd Hughes and the Iowa Whitetail Connection, and anybody interested in booking their hunt with Todd Hughes, you can get that on our website at therulextreme.com and go under the Prove Outfitter sections to get that information. Until next time, people, thanks for watching The Rule. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Be sure to check out our website at therulettv.com where you'll find great gear and hunts from our sponsors and outfitters. I'm Phil Kozak, and thanks for watching The Rule. Closed captioning provided by BF Goodrich. Take control. If you are interested in hunting Missouri with Robinson Hunts, log on to theruletv.com and click on Outfitters. There you will find all the information on the outfitters used on today's show. Or you can contact them directly at 660-465-7185. We hunted hard all week. We actually passed a lot of good bucks. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh just been dandy dandy and uh and uh figures I had to die while we got in the bottom Whew. yeah you think that wasn't a big white tail that's what they make quads for 